Hi, I'm Bridget Indelicato from Mindful Gardening and the Innisfil Seed Library. And today I'll be showing you how to plant and care for gladiolas. Gladiolas are an old-fashioned cottage favorite that make a great addition to any flower garden. They produce tall spikes with frilly blooms in an assortment of colors throughout the summer. They make excellent cut flowers for arrangements. First, you'll want to pick your location. Gladiolas typically grow two to five feet tall, so they make a good addition to the background of a garden, a center focal point, or they can make a dramatic edge. Choose a location that gets full prolonged sunlight so that you can ensure blooms. One good indication is to see where other blooms do well in your garden. For example, I have coneflower and black-eyed Susan that do really well here. You'll also want to plant them in a location with well-draining soil, so not heavy clay or wet areas. And you'll want to use your fork to loosen up the soil. Now you can also add compost or well-composted manure to add fertility to your soil. Gladiolas are started as corms. And you'll want to start them in the spring when the danger of frost has passed and the soil has warmed up. And gladiolas look best when they're grown in groupings of odd numbers. So in this case, we'll be growing them in threes, or you can grow them in seven or even more. So let's get planting. So I've got my area prepared here, and we're going to be planting them four inches deep and six inches apart. And I like to use my commercial dibber. I've got it marked at the four inch mark. I use this for my garlic. If you don't have one of these, I've, before I bought this, uh, made one. So it's made out of wood, just with the pointed end. And again, I was able to mark the, uh, the depth on there. So I've got my four inches already on that. I've got my ruler. So we've got four inches deep and six inches apart. So you're basically with these three, you're doing a triangle. So I'm going to set the two at the back, six inches apart. The bulb is quite large, so I'm going to give it a little wiggle. Okay, and then I've got about six inches here. Then I'm going to take my ruler. And again, make a triangle. There's another six inches. You can also, uh, if you don't have one of these and you prefer not to use it, you can dig just a nice hole that's, you know, six inch in diameter. That way you've got a nice little bowl to put your, your bulbs in or your corms in. Now, when you're planting your corm, you want to plant it with the tip up because the bottom here, this flat area, is where the roots will grow. So that way, they're growing in the right direction. Pointy side up. Very similar to planting other bulbs or garlic. Now what I wanna do is just cover it with soil Now you can also mulch um, after you've planted. I've got lots of organic matter, a lot of leaves, um, so a lot of moisture is retained by doing that and it does help to suppress weeds. Or you could use cedar mulch, that works well too. There we go, I'm just gonna lightly pat. Now we've had some moist weather this spring, so the soil is nice and moist, but I'm going to give it just a little extra watering because you do want to water at planting. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot of things in your garden at this time of year, you might want to mark where you planted these so that you don't accidentally dig them up or trample on them. And also because they can get quite tall, you may want to think about staking them. And this is a good time to do it when you've planted the bulbs so that you're not damaging the root system. 
You'll want to keep your gladiolas well watered through the heat of summer to really make those blooms look their best. And also deadhead blooms as they die back so that it'll encourage more blooms. Now we are in a colder region, so you cannot leave your corms underground over winter because they'll die. So you'll need to dig them up and store them for winter. I'll be showing you how to do that in an upcoming video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.